Guys, we're here, big week ahead. A lot of NCAA tournament bids being given out. There's already a few. Now, here's, here's a shot you're gonna see a lot. There's mm, small college fans storming the court. Uh, that's fairly Dickinson, the fans. They're getting the NCAA bid after winning their semifinal game. <clears throat> semifinal game, how do you win a bid <clears throat> to the NCAA tournament, <clears throat> automatic bid? Fairly Dickinson, your Knights, Dan, became the first team to punch his ticket for the 2023 tournament, and they did it without winning their conference tournament. Merrimack, here's the big game, Merrimack versus Fairly Dickinson. Uh, the number one seed going into the conference tournament is in the midst of his four-year reclassification process mm. from Division II, Division I, oh. and is therefore, thus and so, ineligible for the NCAA tournament. So they won the conference. They won the conference tournament, even. They were allowed to play in the conference tournament, but that game ended up becoming an exhibition. It's a it's a banner you get because you won the NEC the conference, but you're not allowed. Uh, so the Fairleigh Dickinson St. Francis game where you saw the that became the conference title game, and this game, which was after that one, became nothing but the the title. You don't get an NC tournament. So bid. Fairleigh Dickinson should only be fairly excited about their accomplishment. Not bad. Okay, I'm going to give that to you. <laughs> oh um, man, you're lenient or I know. I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> Very lenient. <laughs> trying to be nice. The NEC situation is similar to happen with the A Sun tournament, which you love. Bellarmine, 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 Bellarmine. Uh, they won their conference tournament despite being ineligible for the NCAA tournament, and Jacksonville State got the bid. We got to wipe this thing off. Well, but wait, didn't they win a game prior to the game that would have put them in the title game? So why are they allowing them play for the title? Why not two teams that have a chance to play in the tournament? That clears it up. Uh, so <laughs> I know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Fairly Dickinson. I'm, we're not anti Fairly Dickinson. You, we're, we never. We've always Dickinson. Been. I have a problem with. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on. Barely, but decent guy. I think this, you, once you're D1, you're D1. You're eligible to win, lose, yeah. whatever. Mm -hmm. We got to get on this one, Dan. It's a pretty simple. I, I'm not going to let you play in the conference title game right. if you can't go to the tournament. Right. Why not have two schools that, if they win, when one goes for the tournament? just that simple. But why should you be held out of your own conference tournament just because you can't get to the NCAA tournament? Or just make you, as soon as you go D1, you're D1. Like, you put your foot in the pool, you're yeah. in the pool. Yeah, why is this, what's this four-year reclassification Ugh. business? We'll keep an eye on this story.